victims of the global downturn. This picturesque corner of England has become a parking lot for cash-strapped ship owners. Huge vessels weighing up to 40,000 tonnes have come from all over the world. These giant carriers are looked after by a skeleton crew. We weren't allowed to board or even talk to these Filipinos on camera. Where's your captain? Captain. Yeah. The strict rules in place because five of the nine vessels can't trade because their owners have been taken to court. This ship used to transport fruit. Most of the crew left months ago. For the few Ukrainian sailors left behind, boredom is a problem. We try to keep ourselves busy by working, watching television, playing cards or reading books. Everyone misses their family. You know what they say, there's no place like home. It's been 30 years since there were this many idle ships in the River Fowl. It's keeping Andy Brigden busy. As harbour master, he's in charge of this part of the water. How long before they get power on the winch? The river is now almost at full capacity. He told me it's a sign of the times. The River Fowl has historically been known as the barometer of the world's economy. Uh, that means that when vessels are here, the economy's not doing so well. When it's uh, empty, the ships are all out trading and the world's economy is doing well. All of this an indication of how tough times are for the global shipping industry. With spiralling costs and the credit crunch, international journeys just aren't profitable anymore. Laid up ships are finding havens where they can. One of the reasons so many ships come to the River Fowl is because it's cheaper. It costs around $800 a week for bulk carriers like those ones. But the problem for sailors on board is that they're not tied up at a dock, so it's difficult for them to get to land, making them pretty isolated. The local chaplain who's visited the sailors is concerned about their state of mind. They need that human contact, really. They need to know that they haven't been forgotten, really, by the world, you know, because they're, they're sort of casualties of the, um, the current economic climate. As that economic climate continues to deteriorate, more ships are expected here. Entrusted with vessels worth millions of dollars, for now at least, these maroon sailors aren't going anywhere. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Cornwall, Southern England.